You know, when most people think about a cruise, they think of the usual things. They think of relaxation, fun, sun, a big ass buffet, and maybe the occasional seasickness. But what about a jungle cruise? Foya! Welcome to Vision All Access, and today we're gonna to be talking about the hit movie in theaters right now starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Emily Blunt, Jungle Cruise. So let's start off with the characters. First we have Dwayne The Rock Johnson who is actually portraying Skipper Frank from the actual Jungle Cruise boat. Lady, look, we got Oh, God, sorry, Frank. Sorry, right, I'm strong form. Then we also have Emily Blunt's character, Lily, who has a doctorate in botany from England. Spider. Come on. And being accompanied also by her brother, played by, who's playing, who's playing the brother? Jack Whitehall, who is portraying her brother, McGregor. Not exactly the most outdoorsy a person, but definitely probably one of my favorite characters in this movie. I am not leaving without my toilet chase. <laughs> now our main characters are actually being pursued on this jungle cruise by a German played by Jesse Plemons. And his character name, I'm just gonna put right down here because there's not a chance in hell I'm gonna actually be able to pronounce it properly. How do you say it? Prince Joachim? Prince jo Joker? Joachim? Prince, Prince Joachim. Maybe if I say it with an accent, it'll actually be a bit better. You gotta do uh, a German accent though. Prince Joachim. <laughs> so here's the premise of this awesome movie. Dr. Lily Hooten enlists the aid of wisecracking skipper Frank Wolf to take her and her brother down the Amazon in his ramshackle boat. Together they search for an ancient tree that holds the power to heal, a discovery that will change the future of medicine. Little do they know they are in a race, not only against competitors who will use this power for evil, but also supernatural beings who started this journey over 400 years ago. Ooh, so exciting. So we know the stars, we know the premise, but let's get into why this movie is so great. There is a huge thing going around movies right now where people are a little bit superheroed out, so to speak. And I can't blame him. And while I definitely enjoy the DC movies and the MCU and superhero movies in general, let's just say it was time for something different. And Jungle Cruise actually brings it superbly to the big screen. So much so, actually, I went to go see it twice in two days. My name's Hunter and I, I have a problem. Probably one of the greatest things about this movie, aside from the awesome action, is the dynamic of these characters. Especially the dynamic between the main core three. I mean, we all know whatever role The Rock is in, he's definitely gonna bring it. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. Hilarity ensues, great action scenes, and honestly, some really awesome fight choreography. The low point I would have to say is in who I would classify as the primary villain, the German prince. He's probably one of the nicest bad guys I've ever seen. I mean, he threatens to kill people and yeah, blow up things and he's definitely in it for himself. It's always in a very polite way. Now the Spanish conquistador played by Edgar Ramirez, he, he may be a secondary villain in the overall premise of the movie, but he's first in my heart and I honestly really like the power and the emotion that he really brings to this role. I really got handled to Jungle Cruise for probably one of my favorite things about the movie, which is its action. Starts right from the beginning, goes right to the end, nothing but balls to the wall action. And if you're looking for something to keep you on the edge of your seats with an awesome backstory, you gotta go see Jungle Cruise. So on the vision scale of movie lovage, I have to say I would give this movie a nine probably even a 9.5. It's just that good of a movie. And like I said, if it wasn't for that seemingly lackluster performance of the main villain, the German prince, I probably would have pushed this right to a 10. If you like films like The Mummy or Romancing the Stone or really just any kind of family-oriented action film, even though there are definitely a few scenes which might be too much for some younger kids, go see Jungle Cruise. That's all I really have to say. It's a great movie. Me and my family all loved it. I think it's one of the best things that Disney has brought out. Oh, well, that's all the time we have for Vision All Access today. Hope you guys go out and see the movie Jungle Cruise. 
Trust me, in the theater, there ain't this many bugs. Don't forget to follow me on the socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all down there. Love to keep the conversation going, but uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the movie. I gotta get out of here. Peace.